My name is John Archambo. I'm 59 years old and approximately a year ago I had coronary heart disease. I went to Tallahassee. Uh, every year they have an annual event and this event is a fundraiser and I heard a speaker talk about some of the symptoms that she had while mowing her lawn and she experienced some discomfort, heat, and she decided to go inside to cool down, lay on her tile floor and thankfully her husband and son were there. She had a heart attack. They called 911. She was transported to Tallahassee Memorial Heart and Vascular Center. She described what happened to her a year later at this event. As I sat there at my table, just the day before I had mowed my lawn, sat down nine times on a five gallon bucket and I experienced the exact same thing. I leaned over to my wife who's a registered nurse and said, this is amazing. That's what happened to me yesterday. After I said that to my wife, uh, obviously we were going to make a schedule an appointment for me to be seeing a cardiologist as soon as we returned to Palm Beach. The next day we attended the Florida State football game with friends and family. We had a great time. We went out for dinner. And I think my second blessing in all this after hearing the lady speak the night before was Uber did not show up after three or four attempts. So therefore we were going to walk about a mile to a mile and a half back to our place. During the time we were walking, that pain came back into my chest, right in this area, discomfort. And so I raised my arms up. And at that time, my wife noticed me lagging behind everyone. She came back and I explained to her that that weird discomfort appeared again. And she gave me at that point two options. One option is call 911 or she would drive me to emergency. So I elected option number two. We went to the emergency room and that's where we arrived at Tallahassee Memorial Heart and Vascular Center. After taking my blood test, uh, they came to my wife and I and said that I did not have a heart attack. However, what they'd like to do is keep me in overnight and provide a stress test in the morning so they can be sure. Uh, the hospital is so accommodating, we're from out of town. They actually put together a bed for my wife in my room so she could be with me during this time. The next morning, I had my stress test, which I failed miserably. I had a procedure performed by Dr. Katapotis, great doctor, great staff, and he put in two stints and never felt better. And what really made me feel comfortable through this entire process, they explained to me that once they're in there doing the procedure, anything they find, they will be able to fix and that provided me with tremendous comfort. You know that during that time there's so many different people that come in and out of your room. I don't remember names but there was a constant flow of professionals that came into my room, asked me questions uh, and just always had my care as their number one priority. This is a real scary experience for anyone. A lot of us are afraid of doctors and hospitals this team made me feel comfortable, relaxed, kept me updated, and provided me a comfort level that I knew everything was going to be okay. And that next morning, I went home, I was cleared uh, after receiving my two stints, and I couldn't believe the difference. I was able to go to the gym, be active, as I never had been in the past, enjoying my family and my grandchildren. If I had one word to describe, Dr. Capotis and his team would be excellent. What I've learned is the importance to be proactive and when you have symptoms, react on those symptoms. Hopefully it's nothing, but at least if there is a problem today with technology and doctors and especially at Tallahassee Memorial Heart and Vascular Center, you'll receive the highest quality care, you'll be calmed, everything will be fine, and be proactive and save yourself from tragedy or something that could be a lot worse later on. I share this story because a year ago, a person who I never met shared their story. 
that changed my life forever. I would like to thank that person on behalf of my family and myself. I'd like to thank Tallahassee Memorial Heart and Vascular Center and Dr. Katapotis for his great procedure and just the way the entire staff treated me while I was there as a patient. They made me feel as part of their own family. If you have any of these symptoms, I strongly recommend you get them checked out immediately. I would not hesitate for my family, my friends, to go to Tallahassee Memorial Heart and Vascular Center and see Dr. Catapotis.